Hi everybody, Carissa here with Inky Fairy Designs on the Ranger blog today and I'm super excited to be creating this Christmas card using Dina Wakely Media New Holiday Stamp and Stencil Set. So this is the stamp set that I'm going to be using today. It is super cute. I love all of the vintage images um, that are in it. And so I had the idea to create a watercolor um, background using all of the cute little toys um, stamps that are in the stamp set. And originally I thought each of those little toys were separated, but they're not. So I'm going to show you how I went ahead and went around that. Um, but I'm going to stamp and color using the um, Distress inks. And so here I am pulling out the stamp, and this is when I realized that it is one long strip of stamps instead of um, six individual stamps like I thought. Um, so sometimes when this happens, you need to get out your scissors and alter the stamp a little bit. So I'm just going to cut um, in between uh, the six images right in the middle there. And I'm using my Tim Holtz scissors because they're super sharp and they will cut through clear and rubber perfectly and don't be afraid to cut your stamps to make them more versatile for whatever you want to use um, I know it took me a long time to kind of get over my fear of cutting my stamps but you can fit them together and they will be good as new and you could use them as they originally came no matter what so now I'm stamping on watercolor paper and I'm using archival ink uh, in sepia because I wanted to keep with that kind of vintage style. So I decided to pull out my Misty, which is a hinge stamping tool because on watercolor paper sometimes because it is super rough and textured, you won't get a clear image right off the bat. And in this case, my paper will stay in the same spot. And if I have to restamp, I can. And so you can see I'm just aligning those images around completely randomly. I don't really think about where I'm stamping or what stamps I'm stamping other than I want to fill in most of the white space and kind of keep them um, you know, so that I don't have too many of the same images around the same spot. So I do want to go off the edge and fill in that white space. So I'm going to clean off my stamp really well. I'm going to place that and then I'm going to mask off the stamps that I don't want. And then I can get just the image of that top that I wanted. I'm going to do that again on the side here. And now I think um, one more time on the edge and I'm good. Now I'm going to stamp on the um, frame that comes in this stamp set. Now I stamped the frame but I end up not using it in my project but I wanted to show you, you know, this is kind of the process that happens. Sometimes you have an idea in mind and it doesn't go completely as planned and, and it changes along the way but that's totally what is awesome about being creative is that you can do that. So I'm stamping the Santa image in the same sepia color keeping it kind of cohesive Adhesive. Now I've pulled out some Distress Reinkers. This is what I'm going to do my watercoloring with. I pulled out Aged Mahogany, Crushed Olive, Stormy Sky, Sponge Sugar, and Tattered Rose. And now I'm going to color in um, very loosely with, um, you know, doing a watercolor with these inks and um, just very loosely coloring in all of my images. You can see I'm using my Ranger Matte as my palette. So I just put a dot of that um, Reinker onto the mat, and then I put uh, mix it with some clear water, and that you know dilutes it a little bit, so I can get um, you know a little bit lighter color, and then I can come in with a more concentrated color and add some depth. But for these smaller images, I'm really keeping it the coloring simple. My intention for this card is to keep it really, really simple so that it could be produced and mass produced very easily. So, you know, I could make five or 10 of these and then I have a bunch of Christmas cards to send out because um, I don't like to send out the same ones. Um, I like to have a few different designs and this one is great because I can do all of the stamping all at once and then I can sit and relax, watch a movie and watercolor all of my images all at the same time so it's really easy to do so I pulled in another um, color the scattered straw for my drum set I needed like a another color there so that's what I used for that 
And now I'm just adding a little bit more depth to some of the images with a more concentrated color. But that's the beauty of watercolor. It is super forgiving and relaxing and um, I love the um, variances that you can get. So now I'm going to color in this adorable little Santa. I am doing a little bit of a different technique. I put down some clean water on my image first and then brought in the color so that it kind of blends and moves on its own better. I did bring in tea dye to color in the skin. It's a great skin tone for water coloring. And I'm using the same Stormy Sky to give my white areas a little bit of shading and dimension. Um, whenever I'm coloring white, I don't want to leave it flat white. So I'll always use a blue or a gray or even a purple sometimes to add that shading. And it really makes your white look um, more three-dimensional. So I went around my image with a little bit of the um, Hickory Smoke. Uh, distress crayon. I created a watercolor out of that and I'm doing it on my panel as well. I just felt that it needed a little bit more. It was too stark white around all of that watercoloring and that just softened it a little bit. So now I'm taking out the Dina Wakely media tapes. These are um, the unprinted media tapes which are really cool because you can customize them and personalize them and make them fit your project perfectly any way you want. So I'm taking some of the Gilt Dina Wakely uh, um, heavy body acrylic paint and I painted that medium sized uh, media tape and now I'm taking some distress inks that match the colors from my background, crushed olive and aged mahogany and just adding in some color to my other tapes and I'm going to layer those on my card which I'll show you later. But I love that you can use distress inks, you can use paint, um, you could use the dilutions paints, you can stencil on them and stamp on them. They are so versatile these um, unprinted media tapes. So now I'm taking my Happy Christmas sentiment from that same stamp set and I'm stamping it in archival ink black and I'm doing it twice because I wasn't sure about the placement and it just kind of you know makes it kind of like your own printed tape. So there's the frame and it ended up being way too big for my card. It covered up too much of the images on the back. It was too busy. So I cut out the little Santa face and now I am going to layer my media tapes and create kind of like a little border to place my Santa. I'm going to take my um, sentiment uh, media tape and put that on the top. So I've got my happy Christmas sentiment right there and I'm really happy with the way that placement is working out for my card. So now I'm taking um, some of the wood grain uh, distress um, cardstock that I have and I'm adding some of that same gilt color just to kind of tie everything together. I love putting paint or distress inks on this wood grain paper because it really um, brings out that texture. And I didn't have to go all the way around into the into the middle. You can see I left that white because my panel is going to cover that. So there was really no point to adding paint all to that whole surface. So I took some um, foam tape and I'm adding my panel. I did die cut it. I just want to let you guys know I did die cut that panel. And now I'm doing some more foam tape onto the Santa face. And I'm going to place that onto my card. And we're almost done. I just have a few final finishing touches that I want to add here. I'm taking the Stickles um, Yuletide collection. I love this little poinsettia. I love the different colors that are in it. And I'm just adding it around the darker areas of the Santa hat. And now I'm taking... Um, the Stardust Stickles, which is like a clear Stickles, and I'm putting it on the highlighted areas of the white um, areas of the beard and the hat just to kind of add a little bit of sparkle and shine because Christmas to me needs some shimmer. So you can see here, I slowed it down a little bit so you can kind of see all of that glitter. So now my card is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I absolutely adore this stamp set. It is so much fun to color and I think it makes really great Christmas cards but could be used in so many other ways as well. Thank you Ranger for inviting me back to your blog to create today and everybody else thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.